All right, let's look at another example analyzing the motion of a projectile. A projectile is fired from a cliff 500 feet above the water at an inclination of 45 degree to the horizontal with the muzzle uh, velocity of 400 feet per second. From physics, the height h of the projectile above the water can be modeled by this function. Okay, where x is the horizontal distance of the projectile from the base of the cliff. All right, and then we're going to see the picture is in the next slides. Okay, this is the cliff 500 feet and then fire the projectile in 45 degree. And then it reach to the highest position due to the gravity, right? It will eventually, you know, come to the earth, right? Finally fall to the water. All right. So this is x axis represent the distance away from the cliff, right? The y axis represent the height. Okay. So when this falls in the water, that means the height equals zero. Okay. So this is the x intercept actually. And then this is initial position fire the projectile is the y intercepts. Okay, so 500, 0, that's the, oh no, sorry, 0, 500, that's the y intercept. And then here is x intercept, but we don't know what's this value, what, what that's what we're looking for. Okay, so that's the graph. And then let's come back to previous slides and see what we're looking for. Find the maximum height of the projectile and then also ask you how far from the base of the cliff would the projectile strike the water. So that's asking for the x-intercept. Okay, so A, find the maximum height of the projectile, that's asking for what? That's asking find the vertex, right? Vertex, because the model is a quadratic function. Is that right? So that's how we understand this problem. Okay, so now given the quadratic function, we can easily uh, identify the three coefficient, right? Leading coefficient a equals negative 32 divided by 400 square, right? And then we can simplify. That's negative 32 over 160,000, right? And then simplify as negative 1 over 5,000. Okay, negative 1 over 5,000. And then b, b equals 1, right? Here coefficient is 1. c equals 500, right? So remember that, okay, I'm going to move to the next slide, okay, do the uh, corresponding calculation on the graph. Okay, A equals 91 over 5,000, B equals 1, C equals 500, okay, and I'm going to write, repeat this one. Right, A equals 91 over 5,000, B equals 1. C equals 500. So we're looking for the vertex, okay, which is denoted as H and K. And then H equals negative B over 2 times A, right? And then we plug it in. That's negative. Numerator is 1. Denominator 2 times A, right? 2 times. And then negative 1 over 5,000. Is that right? So we can see the sign negative negative cancel become a positive and then this is the same as one over and a numerator that's two over five thousand. So divided by number is equivalent to multiply by its reciprocal. So that's one right multiply five thousand divided by two actually. 
so we can easily get 2500 all right so x coordinates of vertex equals 2500 okay and how to find a k we need to evaluate function right k let me put in here k equals h of 2500 evaluate function h of x when x equals 2500 so that's equals negative 1 over 5000 x squared right x squared x equals 2500 so 2500 squared plus x right so quadratic function plug it in plus x x equals 2500 and then plus 500 okay and then you simplify and then we can get I'm sorry we can get this is a negative 1250 plus 2500 plus 500 so we got 1750 the unit is the feet okay the y coordinates of vertex is 1750 right so the maximum height okay of the projectile that should be the y coordinates of vertex right which is 1750 okay 1750 sorry k coordinates equals 1750 so we can answer the a question right the maximum height of projectile is 1750 feet and then the b is asking the projectile strike the water right so we're looking for the x intercept right we're looking for what this value is going to be <coughs> so quadratic function is let me come here h of x original quadratic function okay after simplify that's negative 1 over 5000 x squared right plus x plus 500 right and then we need to let it to be zero we're looking for the x intercept so y coordinates be zero so f of x equal to zero right so we're trying to solve for the x how to solve for the x we use the quadratic formula right which is x equals negative b plus or minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a and then we plug it in negative b b equals 1 so that negative 1 plus or minus square root b square minus 4ac b square minus 4 times a times c All right, let's calculate b square minus 4ac first somewhere. Okay, let me put it down here. b square minus 4ac, that's equals 1 square minus 4 times a. a is a negative 1 over 5,000, right? Times c, c equals 500. So that's equals 1.4 okay so we plug in square root of 1.4 here divided by 2 times a which is 2 times 1 over negative 5000 right and then if you plug in to the calculator that equals 1 use a plus sign 1 use a minus sign okay we get negative 458 approximately and the other one not equal approximately the other one got 5458 approximately okay so this point coordinates is 5458 comma zero okay so you may wonder we got a 2x intercept 
one is a negative, will discount. So if this parabola complete, okay, here is negative 458. But for this real application, you know, we know the distance, right? from the cliff cannot be negative, right? That's behind the cliff. That's why the negative roots is discarded, right? So we only keep the positive one. So the answer will be the projectile will strike the water at a distance of about 5,458 feet from the base of the cliff. And then this is the detailed step-by-step -step solution. Okay, for answer A, right, we got 1750, same as our solution. And then for the B, 5458. That's the projectile strike the water at this distance. All right.